So let's just lift our hands to the Lord. Come on. And just begin loving him all over this room. Come on, you know what to do by now. You don't need any coaching. Jesus is beautiful. I've been praying for the day that the heavenly choirs would invade our crowds and overshadow those on the platforms, that the voices of the people would overshadow the worship leaders. So just begin to yield your heart to the Lord right now and begin to release what he gives you. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you here. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. Welcome, Holy Spirit. You are beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful Lord. You know, I, I feel it's been a while for some of you. You just broke your heart open. Just break it open on the feet of Jesus right now. Just close your eyes. Forget about everything. Behold the Lord himself. And just begin to love him. You're holy. You're holy. Can you just begin to sing in the spirit here for a moment? Nobody can replace your voice. Just lift your voice. Lift your voice.
months ago I we were singing for a long time at least to us it was a long time I'm not sure I'm gonna do tonight ah thank you Lord I said Lord I was gonna shut the crowd down I thought they were singing too long because I had something good to preach you know as though the Lord learns while we're preaching And uh, I was just about to hush the worship, and the Lord said, I didn't know they were singing to you. Uh, so true, Lord. So true. Can we worship a little more? Oh, Lord.
Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill this building, this place with your holy presence. Worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb who is slain. Worthy, 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 worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy. Just begin to bless Him very softly. Come on, begin to bless the Lord.
Father. Thank you, Father. Would you just lift your hands for a moment? Lord Jesus, we've come tonight to worship you and you alone. Do what we can't even see and what we can't hear. Do what we can't even conceive tonight. Come on in, Lord. Come on in. Come on in, Lord. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in, precious Lord. Come on in. Come, and Lord, skip on the mountains. Sit on our praise. Come on in, precious bridegroom. Come on in and fill. Fill, fill. Come on in, precious Father. Who is like you, Lord? Just, just pray, in the, pray in tongues behind me, John. Come on in, Lord. Come on in. Come on in, Jesus. Come on in, come on in, come on in, Lord. Blessed, 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 blessed. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. Ever and ever and ever. It's not by might, it's not by power, it's by my spirit. Come on in, Jesus. We welcome you. welcome you. Come on in, precious Lord. Come on in. Come on in. nowhere to go when he comes no there's nowhere other place to look there's nothing left to do welcome you Lord who is like you the heavens who is like you worthy one worthy one worthy one worthy lamb you alone are worthy to open the scroll break the seal none worthy but you and I saw I saw in the midst of the throne was a lamb a lamb who had been slain there's no one like you Alpha and Omega Prince of Peace Mighty God Everlasting Father who is like you who is like you Mighty God wonderful Lord we give you glory tonight give you all the glory tonight you're the message. You're the message. It's you. It's your house. Manti el farne menti od bontie. You're the one. You're the only one, mighty God. Lion of Judah. Bright and morning star. Precious Lamb of God. Who wears scars like trophies. You're a victorious king. There is none like you. 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 You can have as much of Jesus as you want tonight. You can have as much of Jesus as you want tonight. Who is like the Lord? Wonderful. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Some of you haven't had a drink in so long. Jesus said, I have food you don't know about. David said, my cup runs over. The original language says, I'm intoxicated from wine, with wine from your cup. 
Drink deeply. Don't look at me. Have a drink. Just let the Lord touch you. It's the joy of the Lord. It's our strength. Wonderful, Lord. Wonderful, Lord. You don't have to leave depressed. You don't have to leave sick tonight. You don't have to leave bound. You don't have to leave a slave. Jesus said, only to those who drink would a river flow from. The condition is drinking. It doesn't flow until you drink. You have a fountain in you that never moves. Until Father. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, holy, holy. This wasn't the plan, but it's a good plan. Children, children love revival. Just yield, 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 yield. Yield, yield your will right now. He wants to be enthroned in your will. Give Jesus your will. Just surrender. Give him your dignity. Give him your dignity right now. Yep. I know some of you think this doesn't look too wise, but when wisdom becomes a person to you, this is very wise. Paul said, we have made him wisdom unto us. He is our wisdom. Him, him, him. You can study or jump in. I'd jump in and study tomorrow night.
just for a moment, just quiet down for a second, just, just for a second. I just want to see what the Lord does here. We have to learn to live here. Lord is wanting to take us into a place where we put no tool to the altar, where no flesh glories in His presence. God is about to bench many of us in these gatherings. He's about to take the field. Thank you, Father. the Holy of Holies, you take nothing with you. And you do nothing but behold. Your greatest efforts, they just don't cut it there. So the Lord breaks the legs of our dignity and our independence. It's looking for people with a limp. He's trying to get us there. I'm prophesying to you. He's trying to get us there. You just have to die along the way. Your reputation has to die. It's never wisdom to move beyond the Lord. I want to invite you to merely behold Him right now. Unless it's really the Lord quickening your mouth, I, I, I just want to invite you into a, a holy place He's trying to get us to. I believe, in fact, I feel in my spirit, He's, over the last month, He's and inviting this house into this, this, this wonderful beholding of the Lord. This precious, holy place where only the Lord remains. Many of you have been there before. For whatever reason, as all of us do, we embark on a journey at times. We call it ministry. We call it balance. We call it wisdom. Then revival doesn't look as enticing because we're trying to reform something. If our cities are going to be reformed, we need more revival, more fire, more glory, more... More of Jesus' face shining on his people. Principles must flow from his presence. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. There's nothing I could say tonight to amaze him. Nothing I could do to shock him other than have great faith or none. What he longs to do most is just break in. That's what he's after right now. He's after you. He's after you. After you. Would you just close your eyes and behold this the beautiful face of the Lord. how I've been praying for days where altars would fill before we were done preaching. The sick would be healed in a song. I've been 
praying for days that when we leave platforms, people don't even know we're gone because they're stuck worshiping Jesus. He's trying to get us there. It's the Holy Spirit's deepest desire to bear witness of Jesus. It's his deepest desire to grab your heart tonight and draw you, draw you into his presence. You are wonderful, Lord. Why don't you just tell him how how beautiful he is, how wonderful he is. Yeah, just tell him. Make this building a habitation, Lord. You increase. It's what you do. You, you multiply everything you begin. There's a lady on the balcony on my right right knee being healed up there up on the balcony to my right I saw it this morning in my hotel room you just gently begin to move that knee right now by faith you're wonderful Lord you're righteous so holy so holy Precious Lord. If you're able, I'm going to ask you just to grab a seat. Just sit in His presence. There's no reason to change the dial. If you're on your face, you can, you can stay if you like, whatever you, whatever you want to do. I just don't want to lose this moment. So just stay right there. Let the Lord touch you. In fact, the best thing you could do just close your eyes and forget about me. David said, Thou teachest me with your hand. In other words, he was saying, You teach me with touch. You instruct me with touch with the sense of your presence. It's how you teach me, Lord. Through experience, you instruct me of your ways. Hmm. I want to talk to the person in here tonight who's bound the Lord began to speak to me in my room this afternoon it's so easy to hide in these settings so easy to blend in. We run a ministry school. I'm discovering unless people want their life changed, they can hide in a, even in an atmosphere that's intense and full of fire. I'm discovering that Christian events don't save people. Only Jesus saves. The Holy Spirit told me, Michael, if people leave your meetings knowing more about Jesus' image than Jesus, it's just proof I did not lead the meeting. I tell our students, Jesus' school cannot save you. I tell people in our events, this Jesus' event cannot save you. Only Jesus saves. The scripture tells us to make our 
election sure. In other words, there are many things in this life that you can gamble with. I'm just going to ask that nobody move around. Just, just give me five minutes here. It's just very, very holy. Many things that we can gamble with. What car you get, where you want to live, whatever. But there's one thing you do not gamble with. That's your soul. It's precious to the Lord. Jesus said, what good is it for man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? If there's one thing in your heart you should have no doubt about, it's your salvation. It is the greatest miracle. Salvation is not a, not a small issue. Salvation is a full-blown encounter with God. The living God actually takes your body and makes it his home. When that happens, you know. When I walk in a room, you know. When your friend walks in the room, you know. When you drive down the road, you know. Certainly when Jesus comes into our lives, we know. And if there's anything in the universe that is perceivable, it's the living God coming to live inside of us. I was just at YWAM uh, last year. In fact, saw many people here tonight who were down there with me in Kona. I went down with my friend Daniel Kalenda. I said, bro, I feel the need to preach the gospel down there. He said, on a missions base? I said, yep, on a missions base. We preached the gospel together down there. I'd say 400 missionaries got born again. Steve Hill used to say, you can go to hell with your communion elements dripping off your mouth or the water from the baptismal dripping off your robe. If you don't meet Jesus in the process, nothing changes. I tell people all the time, the Bible doesn't say for God so loved the world that he sent an altar call. The Bible doesn't say for God so loved the world that he sent a track, though I love them, and I love altar calls. The Bible doesn't say for God so loved the world that he sent a class room, though I'm okay with all of that. The Bible says God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son. It is meeting Jesus that secures our soul. From YWAM I went to uh, Christ for the Nations. On a Tuesday night I preached the gospel at a Bible college. Hundreds got born again. Hundreds in Bible schools. And I feel in my spirit, I felt it today, I felt the Lord challenge me. Are you simple enough? Are you dead enough to preach the gospel tonight at open heavens? I said, oh Jesus, it'd be my honor. I was asked to do a TV show once that focused on the supernatural. They said, do you have a book? I said, I do. It's called the Jesus book. They said, anything deeper? I said, I've got nothing deeper from my heart. <laughs> I don't think you can get any deeper than the Lord himself. <laughs> Listen to the word of God. The Bible says, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All, me, you, Pastor Bill, your favorite preacher, your mom, your grandma, who wears a bun and never shaved her armpits, you know, the Pentecostal one, she, 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 she sinned too. All, Billy Graham sinned, Reinhard Bonnke sinned, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Psalm 14, verse two and three says, the Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any any who understand, any who seek God, for all have turned away, all have become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even 
one. Again, the scripture says, in our own strength, on our best day, we are as a filthy rag. Romans 5 says, therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man and death through sin, and in this way, death came to all people because all sinned. Isaiah writes, let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them and to our God for he will freely pardon. You say, I, I, sin is normal to me. I, I, am, I sin consistently. I am not free. What are you telling me, Michael? It doesn't matter what I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you what Jesus said. He said, he who sins is a slave to sin. Sin should not be natural to the Christian. Grace doesn't empower us to sin more. And Jesus tonight, I sense in my spirit, wants to break the cycle of you coming into meetings like this, full of shame full of bondage, full of the cycle, going back home and in the dark, you're a slave and then you come here and you have to put on some act and this is why Jesus said these words, come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, if you're tired of carrying this pressure, this show, this life, see the curse of the, the, curse of the, of the law is this, trying to please God without God. And you can't meet Jesus on somebody else's behalf. You can't meet Jesus for your child and if, if there's a child in here just because your parents are born again, that doesn't mean that you are. And the fact that you're here tonight it, that is not the fruit, that is not the litmus test as to whether or not your soul is secure. This is the litmus test. Are you free? Are you free? The Bible says, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Jesus does not change us when we get saved. He replaces us. A changed Michael is still not good enough. The promise is much better. The promise is much more beautiful. He promises to take me as I come to him by faith and nail me to the cross by faith. And he takes my sin, and I want you to listen to the wisdom of God. You say, man, I've never heard this before. This is the gospel. This is heaven's song. If this bores you, it's not because you're deep. It's because you've fallen from great heights. This is heaven's glorious song. The death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And let me tell you, this is what the devil is afraid of. Listen to the wisdom of the Lord. The Bible says, whoever hangs on a tree is cursed. Cursed be any man who hangeth on a tree. And so Jesus comes along. And the Bible says that he who knew no sin became sin. Jesus became your sin. He took your sin. You say, Michael, what is sin? This is sin at the core. God, I don't need you here. You said, I thought sin was porn. That's a sin. That's a symptom. And the harder you fight it, the stronger it gets. Let's be real. You make agreement after agreement, promise after promise. You're waging a war and not understanding that you're fueling the fire that is trying to kill you. So we spend our energy fighting these symptoms when all along, that's the runny nose. There's a virus that Jesus wants to destroy. It's the virus of sin. And sin at the core says this, I'm going to look away from the Lord. God, I don't need you here. And so the word says that Jesus became our sin. Every sin, past, 
present and future that every human who has ever existed he took every single sin and he bore it and became it and then he took your sin and he nailed it listen nailed it to the tree he he was nailed to the tree and the word says cursed be any man who hangeth on a tree all of the sudden here you see the wisdom of God the curse got cursed on the tree and the and death died when Jesus died and that's why the the early church used to say stuff like this we're the church we laugh at death the Bible says that when Jesus breathed his last the scripture says he went in to hell and took captivity captive he plundered the underworld not he wouldn't go down there to negotiate he went down there to conquer and destroy he embarrassed the devil down there he is a mighty king and that's what the, the Psalms teach well who is this king of glory who is this king of glory he's the Lord strong and mighty speaking of the dissension of the Lord him going into the underworld to conquer the grave this is the power of the gospel that's why we can't lose we laugh at death and three days later after he battered the devil and destroyed him and the Bible says he made a spectacle of him an open show of him he tore through the ground as the firstborn among many brethren sat up in that tomb and said boys this thing's all over and because of his resurrection he has promised to give you life not a random life separate from him but his very own life that's why he said I am resurrection and I am life so tonight he will not only raise you from the dead but he'll be the life to sustain you he'll be the life to sustain you everything ends tonight the the cycles end tonight the the lie that you have to wait as George and Vanoff says that you have to wait until you die to be free this, that would mean that you've made death your savior instead of Jesus but you can be free tonight it's who he is the blood of Jesus still works tonight it still flows it still cries out it's, it cries out a better word on our behalf you say what do I do this is what the Bible says whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved saved from what Saved from sin, yes, but saved from you? Saved from the powers of the world? Of course, saved from the devil who's already been defeated? You can leave tonight with a sound mind. You can leave completely replaced. The Bible says he'll take your sin and throw it into a sea of forgetfulness and remove it as far as the east is from the west. This is Jesus. That's why it says we are to be born again, not tweaked and adjusted. You know what the scripture says? Seek the Lord while he is near. I sense his touch. How many of you sense the presence of Jesus in here tonight? He's so close. He's so close. Nobody has to leave the same tonight. In fact, I'm not asking you to make a decision between what I'm saying and your own will. I'm asking you tonight to make a decision between Jesus and your own will. At some point tonight, you'll have to walk right by this loving Lord whose arms are extended to you. And that's why he said, come to me. He said, if any man come to me, I will by no means cast him away. It's not like Jesus to turn you away tonight. So with every head bowed and eye closed, doesn't matter if you're here for an event. You know if sin is reigning. You know if you're a slave. You know if you're in bondage. And if you want that gone, I want you to lift your hand all over this room. All over this room. Thank you, Jesus. Now I want everyone to stand. I want everyone to stand, please. If you raised your hand or you wish you did, if you raised your hand or you wish you did, I want you to get down here right away. Come on. Come on. Come give your life to Jesus tonight. Give your life to the Lord fully. Hand it over. Hand it over. Thank you, Lord thank you father come on come give the Lord your heart come give the Lord your heart come get free tonight come 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 be born again come be born again 
Yeah, give the Lord praise. This is beautiful. Come be born again tonight. Oh, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Come, come, come. Look, they're streaming down. They're streaming down. This is what happened at Young Saints. This is the power of the gospel. This is the power of the Holy Spirit. Come on, come on. Give the Lord praise all over this place. Come on. This is wonderful. Come give your heart to Jesus. Oh, come on. Give, your, give the Lord praise. This is beautiful. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. There's a fountain that flows from Emmanuel's veins. Still cleanses the sinner today. Still sets the captive free. Come on, come on, you come down. I see you coming, come on, come on. Fill the aisles, fill the aisles. This is the power of the cross. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. I give you all the glory, Lord. I give you all the glory. all the glory all the glory all the glory you know the blood and the spirit bear witness they're still coming I want to give you time you come on look they're still coming I want us to give the Lord praise again because every time we do he does something Oh, Jesus. Wonderful Lord. Give you all the glory. If while I'm praying with these people, you feel in your heart, hey, I don't know if I'm saved. I, 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 I need to get born again tonight. I, I want to come. You come on down. You will not offend us or disrupt us. I'd like everyone here to look into my eyes. Please. Tonight, everything changes. You're not giving your heart tonight to an altar. And you're not giving your heart to a prayer. You're giving your heart to a person tonight. A real person. And that's the game changer. It's the awareness of this precious person. The Bible says, and all you do, do it unto the Lord. And this is where it begins. You're going to give your life to Jesus. When you do... He's not merely going to remove your sin, and he will, and you will live your life as though you'd never, ever, ever sin. But he is actually going to take your body and make it his home. And he is going to live in you forever. Forever. And Jesus said these words, I will never leave you, and I will never, ever forsake you. Are you ready to give him your life? Are you ready to go all in, 100%? Are you ready? Ready right now. Close your eyes and just look at the Lord. I want all of us to stretch our hands. Those of you who've come forward, forward to give your heart to Jesus, I want you to lift your hands. Those who are in their seats, I want you to stretch your hands in faith towards these people. And you begin to cry out for, for, their, for, for the, the longevity and the strength of their Christian life. For those of you who come forward, let's pray. Are you ready? I want you to repeat after me clearly and boldly. Heavenly Father, I come to you tonight a sinner forgive my sin wash me in the blood of Jesus cleanse my soul Jesus I believe that you are the son of the living God and I believe that you died on the cross and shed your blood to wash away my sin I believe that you died, that you were buried and raised again because you are God Almighty. So tonight, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. I give you my heart. Come and live inside of me forever. Me for you and you for me. I repent of my sin and I renounce the devil 
I renounce the world. I renounce my sin. And I turn to you. Beautiful Lord. Amen. 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 Come on. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Everyone out there, just begin to bless the Lord for a moment. Just give me 30 seconds. Come up here. Come up here. Hit that cello there, court. Stretch your hands towards this young girl. Father, fill her. Ben Wilson, if you're around, get up here, buddy. Fill her with the precious presence of your Holy Spirit. Fill. Fill. Fill, 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 fill. 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 Come, Holy Spirit. Come, 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 come. Use her life. Use her life. In the name of Jesus, use her life. Use her life. Don't understand the ways of the Lord, but he targets, targets who he wants in these moments. Which, where is she from? She's from the Ukraine. Stretch your hands. Father, raise her up as a healing evangelist. Use this woman. Raise up women all over the world with fire on their mouth and oil flowing out of their hands. Use her for a long time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you've come forward, I, Eric, I don't know the best way for them to follow up. If there's, but I, just connect with Bethel. If you're here local, listen, listen. There's a few things you need to do consistently. Number one, you need to read your Bible every day. Keep playing there, Court, please. You need to read your Bible every day. Every day. It's more important than any meal you eat. This is living bread. Living bread. This is the heart of Jesus on paper. He said it's from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Jesus' heart is revealed in the scriptures. Number two, you need to talk to him. This precious word will cause something to erupt in you, a conversation with God. This is called prayer. This must happen every day. Jesus said, go into your room, close the door. Pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who dwells in secret will reward you openly. This has to happen every day. Read the scriptures, begin to talk to the Lord. Prayer is simply turning the heart towards the Lord and giving Him your affection. It's a childlike conversation. Number three, you need to get baptized in water. Find a church, find someone who will baptize you in water. You will come out of that watery grave completely cut off from this world, the ways of the world, the, the, the powers of the age. You'll be completely cut off. You need to go get water baptized. Number four, you need to join a church and you need to hang out with people in that church that love Jesus more than you love Him. And you need to connect with that church. You need to give your heart to that church. You need to connect with other people who love Jesus. They're out there, I promise you. Number five, you need to ask the Lord. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me, empower me. Come upon me in power so that other people experience what happened to you tonight through your life. Can you do that? Can you do that? I want all of us to give the Lord praise and I want us to welcome them home. Come on. Now you can make your way back to your seats if you've come forward. Bring him to me. Bring him to me, yeah. Pick up those keys, bud.
Where are you from? Singapore. Singapore. Phil. <laughs> Phil. Send fire. Send fire to Singapore. You can go back to your seats now. If you've come forward, please. Please, ushers, help me. Unless I call them out, let them just go back to their seats. When you get to your seat, turn your affection to the Lord. Are you alone? Oh, he can't talk. Do you have anyone, do you have a wife with you? Bring a friend, bring a friend. Come on, friend. He's alone? Oh. Oh, oh, don't come on, hold on, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. You come, come. Come on. Stay on your knees, stay on your knees, stay on your knees, get down. Father, Phil. Rock Singapore with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Bring me another one. Bring me another one. One, one. Come on. Phil, Phil, Phil. Don't, don't start running. Don't start running. Follow the Holy Spirit. Come, bring another one. You see, Philip knew when to run. And had he walked... Ethiopia doesn't receive the gospel. There is a pace to the spirit. And we don't determine it. He does. Phil, Phil, Phil. Begin praying for Singapore all over this place. Let revival fire fall. Bring me one more. You are wonderful. Sing in tongues, John. Phil, Phil, Phil. Phil, one more, one more. Pray for Singapore. Pray for Singapore, guys. Phil. 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 Pray for Singapore. Phil. Bring them here. This can move. Play that thing, Court. Play that thing. One at a time. One at a time. Fill. Pray for Singapore. Pray that stadiums will fill in Singapore. And that the fire of the Holy Ghost would ignite the church. Fill. Bring me one here. One here. Come, precious Lord. Come, 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 precious Jesus. Come, 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 come. Ignite Singapore. Ignite Singapore. Ignite Singapore. Ignite it. Ignite it. Ignite it. Right here, right here, right here. Quick, quick, quick. Phil. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Phil. Right here. It's not by might. It is not by might. It is not by might. Phil, Phil, Phil. Pray for Singapore. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm getting something here. F Phil. God is going to use Singapore. Come on, come on, come on. Right here. Phil, Phil, Phil. Come on, come on, come on. Right here. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, come on, come on. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come on, sir. Come, 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 come. Come, Holy Spirit. Right here, 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 right here. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Fill. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a prophet. Fill. Right here, right here. Come, Holy Spirit, fill. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. When you pray in the Spirit, it stirs the anointing. Pray in the Spirit. 
Come on, right here. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I welcome you, Lord. Phil, come on. Pray that the fire of God would consume these people. Only the Lord could do this. Phil, Phil. 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 Pray for this young man. Fill. Fill him. Open his mouth. Fill him. Fill. What, did a whole church come here or something? Come on. <laughs> come on. Fill. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Pray in the Holy Ghost. You play that cello chord. You play that cello. Fill, touch with holy fire. Fill, bring this kid. That's an evangelist right there. That's an evangelist right there. That's an evangelist. Give him souls. Give him souls. Or eat him up inside. Or eat him up inside. Give him souls. Are you ready to lead worship? Are you ready to lead worship? Keep praying, keep praying. Fill, fill, fill. Fill with fire. Holy Ghost fire. Fill. What do you want? Fill. Phil, Phil. Wasn't expecting that. There's more? Where? just begin singing in the spirit. Haley Braun, I just saw your face. Get, get, get up here. Get up here, prophetess. I have your face just flashed in front of me. Ben Wilson, help me, buddy. prophesy if people don't like it are you receive the fire of the spirit y'all dig in on her pray for her lay hands on her lay hands on her I see her voice with a rumble under it. There's a, a, a tremor in her. It's got to come out. It's got to come out. And the fear of man is going to die tonight. And you're going to stand in the counsel of the Lord and declare the word of the Lord. 
Declare the word of the Lord like a real woman of God. You listen to me. You're a woman of God. Do you hear me? A woman of the most high God, his servant. You declare the works of the Lord, the mighty will of God. Mantaralaba. Mantaralaba. Oh. None of this was planned. It's what we need. It's what we need. It's what we need. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 holy. Holy is the Lord. Here he comes again. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. The earth is filled with his glory. And I saw the Lord high and lifted up. High and lifted up. The train of his robe filled the temple with glory open our eyes Lord open our eyes open our eyes open our eyes open our eyes eyes, precious Lord Under the age of 18, I want you to stand up and wave your hands, quick. If you're near them, I want you to get, keep playing, Court, keep playing, keep playing. I want you to get a hand on them now. This generation is going to burn with the fire of the Holy Ghost. You begin praying for them right now. Come, Holy Spirit, come on. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill, fill these young people. fill our youth possess them with an addiction come on pray big things big things big things this is not the time to be shy we're in his presence you can ask like a child Lord birth an addiction for Jesus let nations be saved let cities bow their knee to the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus come upon them with the genuine fire of the Holy Spirit now Lord raise up tonight prophets and evangelists and teachers and pastors and apostles do it tonight in Jesus name do it tonight in the name of the Lord come upon them in the name of Jesus be filled be filled raise up a holy priesthood children holy 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 youth raise up children who are not addicted to sin they're addicted to the present Fill our youth. Begin to pray for your children right now and your grandchildren. Father, fill my children. Fill my kids, God. Fill them. They have to know you. They need to know you. Fill our children, Jesus, with your holy presence. Grab them tonight. Grab our grandchildren, God. Touch them. Touch them tonight. All over the world, Holy Spirit, begin to fall into homes and dorm rooms and classrooms. God, touch them. Save their souls. Lord, I pray for every wayward child here, every wayward grandchild. Jesus, reveal your beauty. Reveal your beauty that can't be denied. Do it tonight. Do it tonight, Lord.
Deliver them from drugs. Come on, ask, ask the Lord to do. Right now you can ask Him for whatever you want. You can ask for whatever you want right now. Deliver them from drugs in Jesus' name. Well, I don't care what the stats say. Jesus is not bound to the stats. Jesus set this generation free. somebody in this section right here your thoughts get away from you you're struggling to even think properly and you think it's never going to end jump up to your feet right now just go somebody go, go I, right there go get some, somebody yeah go Nico father in Jesus name let the fire of the spirit come upon this woman and set her free tonight in Jesus name right now be whole be free completely Somebody's hip is being healed to my right. Somebody's hip to my right. Stand up if you have a hip issue. Receive right now. Receive right now. Is there somebody on the balcony who has a hip problem or pain in the hip at all? Stand up. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Just begin to move. Move your hip. Move your hip. lady on this side of me, in the front of me, you have an issue in the, in the abdominal or in the reproductive organs. Just lift your hand, lift your hand and grab it right now. Grab it. Grab your miracle right now. There, oh, there you are. Come. Get behind her. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Just lift your hands to Jesus. He'll do it. Just lift your hands to the Lord. Father, fill and heal. Command. Can we all get on on this together? We command these ovaries or whatever's going on in there to be completely whole. Be whole. In Jesus' name. Receive your miracle. has cancer you do do you have cancer leukemia put your hands on her come on guys this is it the mighty name of Jesus Christ we curse leukemia leave her body right now leave you, you. leukemia you die right now What's your name? Tammy, you live in Jesus' name. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cancer, you die, and Tammy, you live in the name of Jesus Christ. Live, 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 live. Anyone else with cancer in this room? Wave your hands. Where? Hands on them, hands on them. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, rebuke it. This whole, come on, let's get in and slay this Goliath in the name of Jesus. Right now, in Jesus' name, we command every tumor, every cancer cell to bow its knee to Jesus right now. Leave. 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 Has anyone lost feeling in the left arm? Could you wave? Anyone? My left arm just went numb. Where? Put your hand on her. Father, you're the God of life. Command life to flow. In the name of Jesus, feeling return. just lift our hands to the Lord just breathe in his presence his wonderful presence here Father fill this house with your glory let all that's happened in the past at Bethel all that's happening right now let it just be a drop in the bucket I need you to agree I just need a few of you to say yes Lord Father let Reading be a city on a hill Father carry Bill into the depths of your glory. Bill, as as I'm praying, I I see a a scroll literally being written. It's it's an assignment going into the depths of his presence. It's, I actually see, I can see heaven writing it. Holy summoning. It's a. It's where it has to end, for all of us, in, t- in the depths of His presence. And I see, Bill, the wind of the Holy Spirit underneath you, carrying you, leading you. The wind behind you. I see the Lord undergirding you with the presence of the Spirit. Eric, it's so important. I told you this before, but I'm seeing it again. It's so important. You, you're literally standing next to your dad as much as you can when the miracles begin. Because the miracles have to multiply in our generation. They have to. They have to. I mean, I, I don't just mean you being in the room or agreeing with it. I mean like you actually in the vicinity. This is how it happens. It, this is how it gets on us. Father, fill this house with radical Levites. Let them come again. Just let them storm the city. Let them storm the city. This, those, those hiding in secret. Let them storm the city with an instrument and a sword on their, in their other hand like the Levites. This is what I hear the Lord saying. As the Levites say, holy is the Lord, they murder mixture. Lord, send priestly Levites by, by, by the dozens, by the hundreds to this house who are constantly beholding the Lord and 
pulling on your precious presence, Jesus. And let more happen by accident than they ever dreamed. That's what I pray, Lord, that, 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 that what happened to me as a little boy when I pulled into Benny's meeting, when I started tremoring on the inside, I, know, I knew I had gone like to heaven almost when I pulled onto that property. Let it be. Let it be, God. Let it be. Teach us your ways so that you'd come more. Yes, Lord. Chris, I saw, Chris Valentin, I saw uh, these hands come and literally pull your eyes open to behold the beauty of the Lord in such a way, this may not seem very appealing, but you're going to love it. (laughs) The days and days on end, you'll be incapacitated by the presence of God. Days on end, like two or three days, just because beyond beholding and seeing into situations and issues that the Lamb of God is going to become a sustained vision. That's what the scripture says. The the pure in heart see the Lord. There's a wave coming for the senior leadership team. I'm telling you, there's a wave coming for the uh, RGPs, for the revival group pastors. And God's about to, uh, some of you, uh, (laughs) You're about to lose your plan. You're about to lose your plan. God's going to burn it up, and he's going to become your plan. And the Lord is literally going to ask you questions in his presence. He's going to say, do you want more? Do you want to stay longer? And you're going to come to the place, please hear me, where the availability of Jesus is going to torture you in the most beautiful way. And you're going to realize that you can have him all the time, any moment. He's a whisper away. And Jesus is going to wound us. I'm including me because I'm family here. He's going to wound our hearts. We're going to be done. Father, fill every person here from front to back. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Eric, or somebody, somebody. Yeah. Can we give the Lord praise?